welcome Badgers to our winter commencement here at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I want to thank all of you for joining us and echo the provost thanks to our deans, faculty, and staff who've made it possible for our graduates to complete their studies despite the disruptions of the pandemic. For 167 years, UW has marked the conferral of degrees with an in-person ceremony. It has been painful for all of us to break with that tradition this year. Our student speaker will tell you he's feeling a little deflated. I know many of you can relate, and I promise you this. When it is safe to gather in large crowds, we are going to put together one of the biggest, best Badger celebrations you have ever seen with you as the guests of honor. Though we cannot be in person today, we have an outstanding lineup of speakers for you, including our alumni speaker, John Felder, who 51 years ago stood with fellow students along with UW faculty and staff to demand that university leaders acknowledge and address racism on this campus. That led to many changes, including the creation of our Afro-American Studies Department. Much of our work today to make this campus more diverse and inclusive has its roots in that early activism. We will also hear from our honorary degree recipients, Dr. Craig Jordan, whose breakthrough discovery led to a treatment for breast cancer that has saved thousands of lives, and Dr. Michael Moore, who's helped open the doors to higher education to people all over the world by helping to develop distance learning, something you are all quite familiar with right now, but it was new territory when Dr. Moore began his work. And we have a very special keynote speaker, the star, of the 2019 Women's World Cup and a proud member of the class of 2017, Rose Lavelle. And finally, our own Broadway star and alum, Andre De Shields, will close the ceremony with his rendition of Varsity. I hope wherever you are, you will sing along. Today, you join these extraordinary Badgers as part of the big supportive family of more than 400,000 UW-Madison alumni all over the world. You have overcome great challenges to reach this moment, to complete a degree in the middle of a life-threatening pandemic that has disrupted every aspect of life is no small thing. I know it hasn't been easy. I know you are missing much of what we love about Madison, like Friday afternoons on the Union Terrace, bike rides on the Lakeshore Path, and study groups at your favorite State Street coffee shop. Some of you have family members who have lost jobs or whose jobs are essential and you worry about their safety. Some of you have been sick or have had family members who have been critically ill. And all of you have been isolated from the friends and classrooms, teachers and advisors who have made this place feel like home. And yet, you have persevered. You adapted to online learning and found a way to continue your research. You helped us set new records for public service. And last month, those of you in Madison helped drive voter turnout in the city to a record high of nearly 85%. And now, you've dedicated your class gift to promoting the well-being of our students and reducing the stigma that still exists around mental illness through the Green Bandana Project, a national movement that started right here at UW. Class of 2020, I want to thank you for your resilience and persistence and thank the family and friends who have helped you through. Today, more than 2,000 of you will receive bachelor's degrees and 750 will receive graduate degrees. The deans, the provost, the faculty, and I are deeply proud of the work you have done to reach this day and inspired by so many of you. The doctoral candidates who had to hold their oral exams virtually the students in dance, theater, art, fashion design, or other degree programs who had to forego the live showcase events they've been working towards for years. And the undergraduates and graduate students earning degrees in dozens of other fields who are thinking about the future in new ways as they watch their plans change as the world changes. Your classmates who graduated in May faced these same obstacles and they are showing the way forward. Alan Chen earned his medical degree and is now a resident physician caring for COVID patients at a hospital that serves as one of the areas of Chicago that has been hardest hit by this virus. Shaloa Coley won a grant to create a beautiful mural on State Street and is now using her degree in journalism and her certificates in studio art at African American Studies to help develop community arts programs in Washington, D.C. while she pursues an MFA. And Christina Geiger 
had planned to serve in the Peace Corps. But until then, she is using her biomedical engineering degree to help ensure that ventilators are meeting the highest standards of quality. In the midst of the worst health crisis we faced in a century, Badgers worldwide are using their education as they always have to solve problems and make people's lives better. If I could give you one piece of advice as you leave UW and pursue your next steps, whether toward a job or further schooling, it would be to be persistent and flexible in the years ahead. Be persistent because the world is going to be upside down for a while. You may have to apply for a few more jobs before you land one. Believe in yourself and what you can do, and don't be shy about demonstrating your abilities. But be flexible as well, because you may have to earn income and build skills in different ways before you get hired into that job that you want. Whether you want to work in healthcare, business, or politics, jobs are changing, and you'll need to look for opportunities to build those skills and change with them. You're all graduating into a world that looks very different than the one you plan for. Just as wars and terrorist attacks shaped your parents' and grandparents' generations, this pandemic will shape yours. And no matter what direction your work takes you, I hope you will carry with you a commitment to what we call the Wisconsin idea, a commitment to use our knowledge, skills, and innovative ideas in ways that will improve people's lives. To all of you, from Bangkok, Thailand, to New York City, to Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and every point in between, Thank you for being part of our big Badger family. Please stay healthy and safe until we can be together again in person. Congratulations, class of 2020, and on Wisconsin. <laughs>